Well, good morning and welcome to the sixth YECO RCC Colloquium. My name is Danilo Petranovic and I direct the Abigail Adams Institute, uh, AAI, located not too far from here in Cambridge. Founded in 2014 as a not-for-profit scholarly institute, AAI is committed to building intellectual community, cultivating habits of mind and character, and aiding in the pursuit of truth and excellence in, Amer in academic and professional life. We provide a range of programming to the Harvard community, including reading and discussion groups, weekend and summer, summer seminars, workshops, lectures, and conversations with faculty. We're also delighted to be a co-sponsor of today's special event. The main sponsor uh, and the initiator of these proceedings is the Institute for Ethics in Communication and Organizations, YECO, at the University of Valencia in Spain. YECO aims to expand knowledge and promote critical thinking about the role of ethics in management, leadership, and communication in organizations. YECO promotes dialogue between the social sciences and philosophy based on a holistic view of the person. We're especially grateful to Dr. Manuel Guillen for um, organizing this conference. Thank you. Finally, we're deep, deeply appreciative of having this uh, wonderful space today. If, you were wondering, if you're wondering uh, what this is, if this is your first time here, this is the Harvard RCC, which stands for Real Colegio Complutense, a center providing academic, scientific, and cultural cooperation between Harvard University and the Spanish system of higher education. Uh, we especially thank the executive director, Cesar uh, Alvarez. Thank you for hosting us, Cesar. And let me also recognize Mr. Fernando Alvar Gonzalez, um, the Consul General of Spain in Boston, who uh, is here with us uh, today. Thank you for being here. The theme of the sixth colloquium very much builds on the theme of last year's colloquium. As some of you may remember, the fifth colloquium was dedicated to the millennial question, or more accurately, accurately uh, to the millennials, his or her ethical formation and education. The students, the millennials, we learned, genuinely wanted to find out whether, in today's society, it was possible to be both successful and at the same time to be ethical. And the answers we received, uh, which you can revisit anytime you wish by going to Yeko's uh, website and, and viewing the, the proceedings, uh, our panelists' answer indicated that yes, indeed, this was possible and even probable should certain concrete, uh, as well as structural and personal reforms be undertaken with the seriousness this requires. The 2018 colloquium uh, takes us from the school, as it were, to the workplace. Today, we want to focus on practical ways of humanizing business. Our guiding question is this. If trust, flourishing, and meaningful work for all are to be a concern for bosses and managers, and I think we all agreed that they ought to be, then how do companies go about implementing and measuring successful outcomes for these intangibles? To answer this question, we'll have the opportunity to listen to three scholarly experts, as well as two practitioners. 